Hi YouTube, I am back with another pick a card. Um, this is a Friday love update. The love vibes. So I'm going to try and do these. Of course, uh, keep doing them on Fridays. But I'm going to try to incorporate more of um, like money. I still want to do the third party one. Um, but like I said, I want to let some time go because i've done so many love uh the third party readings that i also want to use that for them um so they can get like a update sort of thing you know so um a lot of cycles have been ending that's probably i understand that's probably why i have a lot of third party readings coming up um a lot of cycles a lot so i have been bombarded with readings as well so i like to keep it I, l I like to get my rest in between because i really really know how important these messages are because i've been there um but i've been there where i want answers i want so i want to give good messages out okay so again um well, I don't need to repeat myself. So let's get just get started here. I have five options tonight um, because I am not going to be able to sleep tonight. I know that already for a fact. Um, so we have uh, the book here. Whoa. I have the book. I have the match. I have the match. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. This one fell. Which is the ending new beginnings here um, that fell on the floor. So we have the match here, the bumblebee, the spider. Of course, these I pulled out um, randomly, and the hermit, which is a a man holding a book. Okay, so go ahead and make your selection and then we'll get started here so we'll start with the book here let's see okay let's see i forgot to mention please share and subscribe because i don't know how why um why my videos are not being promoted i don't think they are but anyways let's get started here we have the book now this always brings me the message of um it says old fairy tales i have several books in there which um sometimes tarot cards get in between but this one doesn't i feel with the book here that didn't have a tarot card in sometimes they do get in there but not this time i feel like it's more of a a chapter ending okay because it, it says old fairy tales so it's like in something that has ended an old fairy tale an old story a uh, old love you know has ended like finishing a book here finishing a chapter that's what i'm feeling with this let's see what we have we have great achievement what's coming towards you something you've been achieving here something is so bright here what is that i've never seen it so bright but it's really standing out. It's m feel like it's more of um maybe you're shining so bright. Something about you. You're achieving something. I feel like this is personal. Something very personal like um, healing. Or really following your path. Or aligning yourself to what you really want. And really achieving that. Like your personal goal that is what i'm feeling here let's see what else regeneration so maybe you have been healing you've been broken down you've been like 
now you're like reviving yourself i see a lot of leaves green leaves coming out from all these ashes this is also the like the phoenix rising and it's a number 10 look at that four plus six is ten so it's a new beginning you've achieved something now it's time to really um rise from the ashes here this can also mean that a relationship from the past is reviving but i feel like it's more of you soulmates okay never mind so it could be a soulmate here that maybe you're also meeting a new soulmate because i do see this um, butterfly coming to you i feel like this is you here but i feel like both of you are coming out of something of some kind of darkness and both of you are changing here it could be a new soulmate as well both of you are connecting together but after some change some major transformation because the butterflies are really standing out to me i feel like you're waiting for that person to change i feel like you've already are achieving this change within yourself and it brings a message of also um being ready for this soulmate you know being ready to receive this change interesting so uh, king of diamonds Ooh, i love the king of diamonds who doesn't want a king of diamonds or a queen of diamonds you know um king of diamonds is someone very mature very grounded very stable secure some and somebody that can share their wealth or their um or protect you uh, make uh, make you feel secure and really offer stability here very mature person mm -hmm. very grounded they understand very understanding yeah very wise takes care of others this could also be you maybe you're leveling up as well but i feel like maybe yeah it could be you leveling up here it doesn't ma mean anything about the king or queen we all have masculine and feminine energies here okay i feel like you're gonna you're ready for somebody very mature here somebody that takes care of you the way that you take care of them transformational love transmer i mean transformative love so definitely look at these this deck has a lot of butterflies so i can't even say oh you know but i f i think this deck has a lot of butterflies I, I don't know i haven't used it in a long time but there is a butterfly here and there's a lot of transformative energy within these two cards so yeah there's something here about uh someone ascending to the next level or transforming mm -hmm. like this love is transforming over to a next level of some sort here it could be from an old person uh, an old soulmate soulmates come and go for some of you for others of you you're actually closing out a chapter here or both of you are closing out a chapter or you're ready to have that mature love coming into your life i mean and you're ready for that mature love for others of you you're opening a new chapter with a new soulmate or old soulmate sorry i'm let me start over <laughs> i have two storylines you're either healing and re you know really focused on you rising phoenix here i feel and you're waiting for that mature love your love is really transformative you're really putting your boundaries healthy boundaries up you've learned from the past you have closed a chapter here for others of you it could be someone that is maturing you've already matured yourself but you're probably going to your love with someone is transforming here sorry sorry for the confusion let's see what's coming towards this group spirit guides i have two decks in here just in case spirit wants to confirm a message okay what's coming for this 
calling in your soulmate so someone here is probably i feel like it's you you're the one that's calling in a soulmate someone very mature somebody that protects you see how she, he's protecting her i feel like both of you are calling in each other Okay, so there might have been some codependency in the past. Someone has, um, someone had an unhealthy addiction. Is it safe for, yeah. Maybe there was some negativity that was here that both of you are getting over with. I feel like it's, you guys are getting out of it. Someone here had an unhealthy attachment to this person. Or there was an unhealthy attachment between you two. Let's clarify. Give me more on this codependency. Or maybe there was a lot of negativity surrounding this. Oh yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. A lot of outside influences or just a lot of conflict, petty arguments, negative energy between you two. Definitely. And now you're thinking twice both of you are probably thinking twice about maybe coming together or something here or you're leaving s someone behind and really calling in someone new because we have it is safe for you to love so when this love comes to you you you've been manifesting it you've been calling back calling it back in so you're going to be afraid to really let this love back in because you're afraid that it's going to go back into this codependency but i feel like you are learning from this you've learned that's why there's some transformation here you've learned from the past that's why the, the book is here the book charm mm -hmm. give me more on this calling in your soulmate See, two of cups. Someone is calling in their soulmate. Mm -hmm. I feel like both of you are stepping into the right direction here. Or you both have been healing and are about to come together again. Give me more. Is it safe for you to love? This is like a soulmate, a very spiritual connection. Well, duh, we have the soulmate here. Give me more. Um... It is safe for you to love. Yeah, because you need to leave. Okay. You need to leave the past behind already. Leave any emotional baggage. Um, don't treat the new people. Pe new people that come into your life like they are the old people. Or maybe this person is trying to leave something behind. Or wanting to start all over. And you're probably going to hesitate give me more on this it is safe for you to love but you both of you need to leave the past behind no matter if it's new or old but eight of cups is leaving emotional baggage be behind two eights look at that so it could be an old soulmate for you guys both of you guys are transforming here and really evolving stepping up here something here is transforming somebody has been holding back um letting go trying to let go because it was too negative and healing having patience trying to let go of the past and i feel that's what is bringing in this soulmate mm -hmm. but you're still going to hesitate because you're going to be remembering about the past you're not going to know if it's safe for you to love. Okay. But that comes with healing. You know. King of Wands. This person could have been a player or something. But they're going to take action. I feel like the King of Wands has is trying to level up now. Mm -hmm. They're trying to take action towards you. Give me more on this king of wands they're gonna want to take action towards you big time because you're gonna hesitate because you're gonna see this person as you know wanting attention still with um trying to be mr smooth or mrs smooth <laughs> with their words and see 
they're gonna want to message you really get it you you find them very very attractive let's um they're gonna be messaging you passionate messages could be but this person is a king now they used to be a page which is a level up give me more on this king of diamonds okay so i feel like this is a taurus big time earth sign um heavy earth this could be you too you're wanting something very um you're you're really keeping your boundaries you're doing everything by the book you really know what you want this could be you and you're not gonna accept anything less here mm -hmm. give me more on the hierophant and page of wands this person wants something commit committed i feel like it's you Give me more on this page. Okay, so you've been healing a lot. You have been thinking a lot about this. I feel like you've been healing. And you know exactly what you want here. Now you're not going to accept anything less. Mm -hmm. but you're still going to hold back and keep your boundaries healthy boundaries i feel like you've already learned this and this is the way that you're going to try you're not going to give so much until you see that they are also giving the same to you i really do feel like you've been leveling up you've learned so much and this is gonna that that's what's gonna bring in this soulmate of yours Mm -hmm. keeping that healthy boundary and being straightforward what you want maybe not to them verbally but you know letting them know where their boundaries are at that's what I'm feeling here give me more on this great achievement what's this great achievement which I already feel like it's more of a closing out a chapter where you used to let people use you or you know um or let negative energy into your space yeah um justice is here justice is backing you up the universe is backing you up whatever you've given to a situation a love situation justice will balance it for you the universe is taking care of it the eight of wands moving forward there's communication which is gonna make you feel could be an apology as well coming towards you will make you feel like you're moving forward now taking a step forward you're gonna have a lot of opportunities they could make you a little confused not knowing what to do what to choose but i feel like it's more of opportunities to really set your boundaries to really make it known to a person that they can't really take advantage of you yep with the magician here it's your um manifesting opportunities here you've probably also been working a lot on your own personal growth your own personal abundance security stability your your determination towards a dream here that's what i'm feeling okay at the bottom of the deck somebody here is holding the wheel i feel like the wheel has been kind of at a standstill because someone's holding it here so nothing has really moved this is an extra card that the deck comes with oh underneath we have the lovers so it is about love of course um somebody not making a clear choice and now i feel like there's something that is going to start coming up again but on a different level because i feel like you've learned so much that you're not going to let someone come in and take advantage of this of you the way that they did before mm -hmm. yeah i feel like you've learned a lot i do see leo here i see capricorn i see water i see scorpio here heavily scorpio i see taurus air signs leo water signs fire virgo gemini sagittarius and libra 
those are just some but I see all signs of course like anybody can embody this Scorpio energy you know going through that transformation okay I hope that resonated very very strong message I really feel really proud of you if this is your if this is you that is really finding yourself again and transforming okay let's keep going okay so match the match here so i love these i have the other pair uh, there's two of these in my charms it's the match this one says perfect the other one says match but of course i only choose one one charm per pile so this could also it, this could indicate a lot of chemistry a lot of hotness a lot of um passion it can also indicate um twin flame of course maybe you've been dealing with the twin flame yeah that is what i have here let's see what we have for you status quo okay so i feel with this status quo energy i feel like nothing has is changing i feel like you are going through this path and you don't see anything changing it's long it's lonely but the sun is at the at the end of it it's like it's near the sun has came up already but it's waiting for you to keep going um something is happening behind the scenes i feel with the status quo maybe you don't see anything happening maybe you still feel like you're going down a lonely path but i feel like you're you're going towards a new chapter here i don't know why and this the first pile had a new chapter which is weird serendipity okay so i feel like the universe is doing something behind the behind the scenes here so they are creating they're doing something for you which is gonna bring some some luck in out of nowhere you're not gonna expect it yeah interesting like a wish fulfillment they're protecting you as well your angels your spirit guides your ancestors sexual freedom oh wow okay so what is really standing out for me is this cycle so i feel like you've been going through a lot of cycles a lot of growth we have the lotus here coming out of muddy waters growing out of muddy waters sexual freedom to me is oh what's standing out is a diamond again you've been going through so much i mean constant and constant cycles maybe not with this per uh, the person you're thinking about for some of you but you've been going through the same thing over and over probably even with different people but you're actually understanding the power of um of how do i say sexual chemistry I hope um, YouTube doesn't doesn't um, flag me or somebody doesn't flag me with that. Uh, YouTube is very sensitive. So maybe you're also valuing your own sexuality or being more aware of the physical intimacy that you give yourself. Um, maybe you're one of those people that you give yourself to someone and then you're attached to them you know because you wear your heart on your sleeve and you feel that physical intimacy with someone and somehow you you try you end up attached and it usually it does work like that some someone is more attached than the other and there is people that when you do have physical intimacy with someone you are spiritually attached you have to cleanse yourself out of that person's energy like detox i always feel like it's um how do i say you're just spiritually attached until you detox from that person yeah so i feel like 
most of you here are realizing that and you're detoxing from that you're you're really understanding how this physical intimacy can really put put you in a state where you're just attached okay so maybe you're valuing yourself a lot more you're not giving yourself so freely um yeah so you're being more wise about who you let in your your space your energy i feel like you've been really learning harsh lessons here over and over again and you're finally getting understanding this in a dip deeper level we have justice Ooh, interesting because the last pile they had justice as well but this one's a lot more deeper with the physical intimacy here so the justice is also balancing everything out balancing yourself we have another eight here so again cycles and then we have two which is cycle again we have another eight here but it's a nine for me i feel like you're leveling up here um justice justice is on your side balancing the things out you're also probably balancing yourself out your own energy here during this time it's like a a pause in between cycles here so nothing here is moving but i feel like you're taking advantage to really free yourself from anybody's energy and that's what really is bringing in this serendipity energy for the universe to really do something great into your in your life um i also get harsh lessons with the justice karmic lessons yeah Ooh, promise it's a ring so with the promise it's a promise ring actually i feel like also you really have your eye on the prize that's what I'm feeling with this like you're trying to the ring is also it talks about um, a cycle so it's like you have your eye on the prize you've already finished a cycle up and you want the real thing now it's like you've learned something here and you want justice like you are giving yourself justice here and it's like you're committing to really freeing yourself from people that don't serve you that is what i'm feeling with that the ring signifies of course commitment you're ready for that real commitment for that person because you've learned so much already you're just tired of the same cycle over and over again you're ready for something more serious and on a deeper level and you're not going to give yourself to anybody unless they are they are um someone that is wanting to really give as much as you want to give you know like uh, have a good uh, equal give and take that's what i'm trying to say what's coming into this group's love life spirit guys keep an open mind finances and career so something you've probably been working on your finances and career you've probably been healing as well I feel like with the healing family issues, you've probably been healing. Look at that. At the bottom of the deck, love yourself first. So you've probably been dealing with somebody that was in and out of your life. Um, finances and careers. I feel like you're blooming. I feel like you're focused more on your own security, your own stability here. You've been keeping an open mind. Maybe um, you're ready to maybe go out and mingle and try out different things but there's something that here that stops you and i feel like it's more of the healing you're trying to heal first you're trying to put that in the back burner i do feel like somebody has an eye on you as well some of you someone has an eye on you you're healing 
I mean, deep-rooted issues. This could also be, uh, for me, issues from the past, like a past lo uh, love life, past life. Here, your your that's really what came to mind when I pulled it. It's like you're healing from things that you've gone through in the past, in a past life here for centuries. And this is what's really freeing you up. Like you're already done with the BS here. Okay. And I feel like your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels, they are looking over you with like, how do I say it? Like you're doing really good. I'm feeling this kind of energy and I never, never, I rarely channel um, people people from the the that have that have been close to you and that have passed away i don't know here it could be one person but they're really proud of you okay i rarely channel someone like that but when it comes to me i have to say it because it's very important for that one person okay so i don't know who who's but somebody here is looking over you and they are very proud of you okay so ooh, i almost want to cry <clears throat> that could only be for one person but that's what i'm channeling let's see give me more on this status quo i'm only gonna do some not all Ooh, nine of cups I feel like during this time you are keeping your sight yourself like I said you're you're keeping your eye on the prize on that wish fulfillment look at how this little cat is looking at the prize here there's also a diamond on on there yeah you're keeping your eye on the prize that's what I'm I feel here a wish fulfillment coming into fruition like yeah interesting give me okay the emperor so i feel like you have been also keeping yourself away from other people but i, I feel like you feel stuck here like you're holding the wheel someone here is holding the wheel feel like the universe you feel like you're stuck like you're stuck you're but you're maturing. Mm -hmm. You're really keeping your your boundaries set. You're probably also keeping yourself keeping your treasures safe. Your maybe it's regarding your um, physical intimacy. But what really is popping out to me is really grabbing my attention is this cat over this um this treasure chest it's like you are keeping your your treasure safe you're not letting anybody in maybe you are working on your own um career stability and security here you want to be the emperor or the empress of your own like you're building your empire here that's what i'm feeling during this time of healing Give me more on this serendipity. Yep. I feel like something is happening that you've already invested a lot of time in. A lot of... But you don't see anything coming into fruition yet. It's because... I feel like the universe or... The stars haven't aligned yet, but it's coming, okay? Something you've put in a lot of work and time and energy in. It, this could also be in business. I don't know why I keep getting finances here. And you're freeing yourself from love right now. But it, at the same time, I feel that because you've already, like, you're focused on other things, you're pulling in something really, really good for you in love, yeah 
I feel like it's something with regarding stability and security. You're trying to secure your own um, stability here. For others of you, you're going to be celebrating when this finally comes into fruition. When the stars really align for you. And it's going to feel like you, you're feeling lucky. Mm-hmm. Yep, a lot of dreams, a lot of opportunities. It's like you're opening Pandora's box or something like that. I'm, I'm feeling like, I don't know what Pandora's box means, but <laughs> that is what came to me. Anyways, um, some of you, something here is aligning for you and it is a higher level of commitment. Someone, both of you making a promise to each other. There's going to be an opportunity here that's going to come up. It's going to probably make you a little confused. But you also have to keep your own, um, keep yourself, don't forget about, you know, having integrity, okay? Or keeping your boundaries, okay? brings a message of integrity and also healthy boundaries here you could be a Taurus or um, fire earth water but what I'm feeling here is yeah higher level commitment and opportunity for a higher level commitment give me more on this sexual freedom Yep, sexual freedom, queen of wands. You're really protecting your own energy here. You could be a mystic. You're also taking care of your outer beauty. Really focused on health, keeping your space from others. You're, yeah. You have the spotlight. You're very, very attractive too to other people, to other, yeah. Give me more on this um, justice card. Okay, eight of swords wants to pop out. Give me more on this eight of swords. Eight of swords. This is eight of swords as well. Somebody and the eight of swords just popped out. But I didn't keep it because it just flipped over. What I'm doing is just pulling it myself. But somebody could be stuck in their thoughts about a commitment or something here. The moon. You don't see this happening. Something is happening behind the scenes. Which that confirms this message here. You know something's happening. Nothing is not what it seems. You might not see any changes right now. But something is changing. The universe is on your side. Give me more on this moon and the justice card yep nine of pentacles you they're really they don't want you to know what's coming what's behind the scenes yet because you need to keep working on yourself on your body mind and soul your mind body and spirit here give me more on this promise see two of cups with a promise there is a soulmate coming your way it could also mean healing a soulmate situation could be with a fire sign that is thinking about maybe messaging you or just somebody that is emotionally immature this is my emotionally immature person here ten of wands yeah this person if it's an old soulmate this person really didn't really, um, because of their immaturity or their emotionally immature, I feel like it gave you a lot of burden. This person, yeah, didn't really care much, um, kind of took advantage of you sometimes. It could be this person coming towards you that's going to want to heal the situation with you. Yeah, there's going to be a conversation between you two. We have two pages here. For me, 
as a reader two pages means a conversation okay somebody very sweet loving and um, it could also represent the same people I mean the same person but I feel like it's a conversation between you two and trying to heal the situation it's an ending of a burden between you two yeah and there's going to be some kind of an agreement, some kind of a commitment or something, a conversation about a commitment or something. Let, keep, give me more on this keep an open mind. I feel like with a keep an open mind too, you have to let go of how it's supposed to happen because it's going to happen the way that universe conspires it, okay? So let go of that um, wanting, t wanting it a certain way. Okay, two of pentacles. Keep yourself grounded. You might be too busy to even notice that somebody has an eye on you. Yeah, somebody here is going to drop the juggling act and really come to you and propose something to you. This could be something more stable, more secure for you. But someone's bringing you a uh, Ace of Pentacles. They're dropping the I don't know what to do. yeah give me more on this healing family issues you probably have a family with this person as well i forgot to mention that um and they want to heal a situation for the sake of the family or maybe there's um this person is also healing themselves yep this person could be healing themselves and really wanting to step up you know look at that the empress wants to pop out and then we have the emperor over here so they really do want to to bring you something because they're seeing your worth they're seeing that you are the wife material or the husband material because we have emperor and empress this could be very much a twin flame situation they are seeing your worth they're seeing that you are probably also working on your own coins and you're um, ready for that stability and security because you've been working a lot on yourself this person also wants to probably level up and wants to talk to you and, and come to an agreement. That's why we have the promise card here. Okay, bottom of the deck, the high priestess. So there's probably been a lot of silence between you two that's keeping this person in their thoughts. I feel like it's them because I feel like you're the one that's been working on yourself. And the more that you're working on yourself and there's this silence, this person's going crazy thinking about the past with you. It's a very strong soulmate or a twin flame connection here. Okay, I did a lot of cards for this one. Okay, so I do see all signs here. Some of the major ones is Virgo, Libra, Taurus, um, Cancer could be cancer uh, more libra pisces more taurus aries leo yeah i hope that felt like it resonated thank you so much oh i see sagittarius as well i see all signs though um I didn't see air signs though. Sorry about that. I did see it at the bottom of the deck actually. So, yeah. Okay, I hope that felt like it resonated. Thank you so much. I did see Libra. I said Libra. Okay. Okay. Let's do the bumblebee okay the bumblebee um charm always brings a message of productivity also for me it brings a message of the empress the emperor you know um actually the empress more because it's abundant it it also brings a message of creating your own sweetness in life because you know the bumblebee and also it brings a message for me is the queen bee you know the queen bee okay okay let's see what's coming into your life 
friends and colleagues okay so i see celebration i see wine i see laughter happiness mm -hmm. somebody's been turning on candles in this pile okay so let's see not everyone but someone <laughs> flexible okay so i feel like you have been keeping your distance i feel like this is also bringing the message that any events don't don't say no to any events okay huh get out of your own way you have to start being flexible you've probably been trying to keep your distance from people you've been growing a lot that's for sure you're ending a cycle here as well you're see i saw a lot of cycles and then one plus nine is ten everyone's ending cycles so i'm probably gonna keep saying that um even the whole world is ending a cycle there's a lot of changes transformation sacred woman yes learning a lot here okay so the sacred woman this is like the uh, i forgot what it was called um the white buffalo calf woman because it's a white buffalo here you've struggled a lot you've struggled a lot you're still looking towards um your dreams in love with the empress here or the emperor you have grown a lot with the green heart that is popping out here you've probably been healing a lot as well you've been keeping yourself isolated but it's time to move move and go towards people to connect with new people also you might be meeting someone new or somebody here at a celebration I don't know how because I know everybody's under quarantine right now. But I feel like there's something here, reunion, that you're going to be connecting with someone that you resonate with. Because what's really popping out with here is this woman looking at them. This woman is looking at him, I think, too. So there's something here in regards to that. I feel like if you've been isolated a lot trying to heal, you need to get yourself out there more. Um, I know it's quarantine, but this is what's coming up, of course. Let's see, what else do I see? I feel like the sacred woman also doesn't play games anymore. Like you, you, you know because you've healed or your heart, your heart is healing you know now you've grown so much that you know your boundaries you know how to set your boundaries you're not gonna let nobody in or um you're gonna be able to also set your boundaries healthy boundaries i'm getting a lot of that here in these piles i feel like people are really growing like this person is not gonna compromise herself is all about her integrity she makes um clear she makes it clear to everybody around her what her power is and she's very confident mm -hmm. she respects herself and respects others and also um expects respect from other people that's the sacred woman now this could be you or this could be a male as well it's not gender specific or this is somebody that you're gonna meet that is gonna know where their place is at that is very confident if you're a male watching this of course strength this is the ace of wands it's a new passionate connection also the strength card is having patience having patience someone here might be healing or you might be meeting someone that is healing but having patience with yourself i'm getting most of all I feel like there is a new beginning right in front of you but you just have to have patience okay also with the strength card is maybe you have been healing um 
really keeping your distance really holding back on probably meeting people mm -hmm. hitched so you're ready here we have the hitch you know what you want and your next relationship could be a very serious one okay or whoever's coming towards you is a very serious um commitment that is around the corner a new beginning because you've been healing because you've learned so much from the past already um and you know your power interesting i feel like it's i feel like it's new love for some of you it could be a new fire sign as well give me more on this connection what's coming towards this group spirit guides separation so you've been separated with someone again i feel like there's been a lot of healing here trust we have the ace of wands here as well that's for me it's ace of wands which is this card so there's there could have been some trust issues that caused a separation between you two what's coming towards this group spirit and somebody's going to be asking to trust and release the past here or somebody needs to release the past release the the ex um as well we'll look more into it but most of you i feel like during the separation you're trying to release someone and really trying to connect with someone else or maybe this person is asking you to trust them and release whatever has happened in the past with them and start all over so it can go either way um i feel like most of you is going to be new love Mm -hmm. because you've been healing you're ready for the next real thing here and setting your boundaries or probably going out with someone or going out and meeting someone give me more on this friends and colleagues Ooh, yeah going out with friends um or family here being surrounded by family loving people connecting with others or really finding that that person that really wants something serious here with you give me more on this ten of pentacles wow the strength card again waiting patiently for this person that you resonate with meeting someone that does want everything here could be a leo that you might be meeting or an earth sign having patience to meet the right one that wants everything with you give me more on this flexible card being flexible hmm, interesting i don't have my whole deck isn't reversed but this one wanted to come out reversed like I said, I, f I feel like someone here is holding back. If you've been isolating yourself, it's time to move, like, out, go out there and explore because you're holding back. This That's weird how this one came out reversed. And I don't have my deck um, reversed here, my cards. So maybe you're holding back here. You need to start being more flexible with your time, your energy, and getting out there and exploring here okay because the maybe you might be feeling stuck for most of you okay so interesting and it's a number 10 so we have two tens here you we have three tens look at that interesting so you are finishing a cycle you've learning you're learning from the past lessons i do see scorpio taurus leo and aquarius here give me more on this flexible card i feel like the message here is get out of your own way i don't know why okay you've been probably also putting your t attention elsewhere instead like you've you've kind of are trying to um heal and putting yourself your attention elsewhere here trying to balance yourself or you're focused on one thing more than the other and it and it's causing this stuckness feeling mm -hmm. i don't know what it is i also feel for some of you the universe is trying to get 
grant you something here or um, or balance the scales out for you but you're feeling stuck you're I keep getting you know getting yourself out of your own way give me more on the sacred woman just one no yeah you've been waiting around a lot you've probably invested a lot of time in it and you're waiting for something to come out of it something good you want your investment or you've been investing a lot of time and energy somewhere i feel like you're waiting for you know something to be given back yeah you've probably been investing a lot of time in your career or something like that and your money your own security your own stability I feel for some of you you've invested a lot of time and energy into someone here I also feel like this person someone that you're gonna meet they're gonna really understand you in a deeper level here they're really gonna want to offer you something stable and secure because of the boundaries because you've been focused on yourself because of um how much respect and in how do i say how much how much you value yourself mm -hmm. you're you're it's like you've planted the seeds already and the universe is trying to gift you someone that resonates with you Mm -hmm. give me more on this ace of wands or the strength card what's going on whoa see somebody has been working a lot on themselves or on work give me more on the strength card for healing purposes justice see i'm telling you justice is on your side they want to make things right for you but you're blocking yourself it's like you're stuck Mm hmm it don't get out of your own way here because the universe is trying to gift you something give me more on this hitch tower hitched okay so with the tower here there was a breakdown and that's why you're blocked here okay but the justice is here strength card they want to the universe is something is done here maybe also this was a marriage a serious commitment and both of you guys also broke up mm -hmm. and you've been healing you feel stuck right now or maybe both of you were married or really had a very serious relationship and there's separation here but y there's something you need to release and just trust the universe as well. There's a new beginning in front of you, but you're not seeing it. Give me more on the separation. Separation with someone loving. Give me more. Somebody is yearning for you, I feel. Give me more on this King of Cups. They want to come back. They've been reflecting a lot on the past. But they want you to have trust. There was probably trust issues here between you two. Give me more on this trust. Could have been a Virgo or a Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, there was some kind of trust here. Probably pride, ego got in the way. Or um, somebody was out there being promiscuous or something like that that's what i'm feeling give me more on this release your ex i feel like you're you're stuck okay so yep having trust in the universe trust in the universe things are the way that something here was meant to happen 
now you have to have trust look at how similar these cards are you need to let go of something from the past okay and trust the universe mm -hmm. trust your intuition something your intuition is telling you something here okay this is probably you reflecting on how it used to be give me more on this king of cups okay no okay so something is over we have two saturn cards here the devil and the world something very negative a closed chapter a, you're leveling up here you're trying to release something and it could have been something very serious a commitment a marriage a family here bottom of the deck eight of cups leaving emotional baggage behind releasing that emotional baggage somebody was probably out and about in and out of your life as well if it was not a serious commitment but it's like you're closing off a chapter bottom of the deck ace of swords something clarity is coming but you need to get out of your own way you need to go out there and explore really still keep that boundary here but go out there make new correction um, connections focus on yourself here give me more on this hitch yeah manifesting new beginnings here bottom of the deck we have the judgment someone here was not um, giving you a lot here they wanted their options open possibly and you had to make a judgment call really close off or you're having a hard time during the separation but it's like a harsh lesson that both of you need to learn there was probably toxicity here something could have been someone just wanting best of both worlds you know being happy i mean being happy i mean being single or um and wanting the wanting the serious commitment mm -hmm. yep that is what i'm feeling here i pulled a lot of cards for this pile and i should have only pulled a couple here okay but i wanted more clarity so i hope that felt like it resonated this seems like a serious relationship here but I feel like you're you're leveling up here with the sacred woman. But now it's time to go out there and explore. I have Earth, Air, Libra, Earth, Leo, Air, Scorpio, Capricorn. I have a lot of um, fixed signs as well with the Wheel of Fortune and the World, which is Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, Gemini, Taurus, could be a Pisces too, Scorpio, and Leo again. Okay, but anybody can embody those. Okay. I, f I hope that felt like it resonated. I was, um, saw a lot of, um, I had two storylines here. Okay, I see Leo, strong Leo here. I see earth signs. Fire. Yeah, that's it. Okay, time for the the spider. Okay, so we have the spider. Ooh, my nose is itchy. Um are you kissing a fool soon? <laughs> that's uh for me that's an omen of kissing a frog or kissing a fool um but anyways we have a spider here um the spider to me brings abundance or creating something creating or yeah mostly abundance happy life let's see what we have here what is it that you're bringing into your love life? Ooh, fragmented energy. Okay, so this always t uh, speaks of me. Yeah, there's fragmented energy, meaning you're 
your energy is everywhere but i also feel like there's change this always brings me the message of change you see all the waves and you don't have all the pieces to the puzzle yet you're part of the puzzle here so things are changing but you don't see things coming together anytime soon oh interesting we have a happy happy and then we have a lock here huh it's interesting because look at how they are both their, their stance here like they're standing the same almost the same so you're on your way something here is changing it probably seems chaotic right now but that's because you're in the middle of a change you're gonna have all the pieces to your puzzle soon and it's gonna make you very happy it's gonna unlock something for you here a hummingbird is really standing out here so hummingbirds also is um brings a message of abundance something that's gonna make you very happy wow okay we have the divine masculine this is someone very caring it could be a leo somebody very masculine this could be you as well someone very caring brings a message of <sighs> like the protector hmm let's see what else do i have here mm. yeah somebody really being that protector because it's really standing out um protector for you you know also needing that nurturing side too maybe you're fronting that you're being you have it all together you're giving off this vibe that you have it all together you're strong you're you don't need anybody mm -hmm. yeah somebody that's trying to take care of their business you know their own personal life but i also feel that um this could be someone that works their magic on you because what's really also standing out for me is this circle thing and it's really hypnotizing maybe this is somebody that really comes into your life shows you a different side here but also hypnotizes you like gives you this um vibe of maybe trying to manipulate the situation mm -hmm. But maybe this person is also changing. Maybe this is you fronting as well. Gaining your strength back with a lion here. Because there is change. Maybe there is also a divine masculine coming into your life soon. That's what I'm getting. Four of hearts. Ooh. Every time I see this card coming up, I also feel like it's somebody learning, learning from the past, learning or, yeah, learning a new skill. But it also brings a message of contemplating somebody silent and contemplating here. Contemplating on something. It could be you if you're but i feel like maybe it's somebody that you know trials of lesson a uh, trials of love lesson so it's somebody that you've probably also felt rejected from uh, they've probably tried manipulating the situation with uh, manipulating the situation with you but i also feel this um you've learned from people like this from coming into your life and trying to take over or only coming into your life whenever you need um i mean they need your nurturing support could it doesn't even matter if it's masculine or feminine here okay mm.
Okay. Give me more on this spider group. What's coming into their love life? Let your friends help you. Maybe you have been trying to heal and it's good to ask your friends or you, if you want to vent to them, have your friends around you and somebody you can trust. Honeymoon. Somebody here wants to probably clear the air with you or you probably have gone away from this person because you want to be happy. You're trying to trying to stay grounded or ground yourself there was probably deception here like i said i'm telling you this little swirl thingy it's like this person would come into your life and kind of manipulate you you know how um those black and white hypnotizing i don't know what it's called but that's what it reminds me of so there was probably somebody trying to manipulate a situation in your life bottom of the deck it brought a lot of codependency issues between you two uh -huh. so i feel like this person is gonna come back in they're gonna show another side of themselves so so be careful for some of you but this person i feel like you've learned so many lessons with or you've learned a harsh lesson with them because of the way that they made you feel maybe made you feel rejected or some sort mm-hmm Give me more on this fragmented energy. You're moving forward even though it seems like yeah, there's chaos here. You're moving forward. You're overcoming obstacles here. Okay. Give me more on this divine masculine. I'm only going to clarify some of them. Give me more on this divine masculine. Yep, somebody that had a lot of, um, you had a lot of conflict with, or maybe this person was, had a lot of inner conflict. Give me more on this Divine Masculine. Yep, somebody that was emotionally immature, really project, I mean, really came off as someone that, um, that was mature but not really they were just fronting or it could be uh, somebody that was just emotionally mature it's not gender specific yep I feel like it was somebody that was fronting because they saw that you had more than them or you were more than them they felt a little insecure they could have feel a little intimidated by you as well they saw you this way now they want to come in but they were um kind of using you for your energy because you're so nurturing you're always there but then they would make you feel rejected in a way give me more on this four of hearts Yeah, they were giving their attention elsewhere and you felt like you had to always ask for their attention. Yep, they were giving their attention elsewhere. Or it could have been just also pride and ego got in the way. Give me more on these lessons. I feel like you've grown out of this. You can see through them now. <laughs> you can see through them. You've probably learned your lesson or you're trying to stay away from this person and it's keeping this person stuck in their thoughts. Give me more on this Eight of Swords with the lessons. They had you stuck before, I feel. Yep. Their manipulation tactics probably kept you stuck and you had to learn a harsh lesson here. Give me more on this. Um honeymoon I feel like this person is coming towards you though okay so but you are changing here 
nine of cups yep you're looking out for yourself oh i have two yeah this person does want to come towards you but they're they could be a little um selfish or they're probably reflecting they're feeling judged by you because maybe they were too selfish they were yeah that's what i feel give me more on this deception so this person is going to come back just fyi king of wands yeah they were out and about they were the very attractive person give me more on this deception card oh, yeah there was a third party here three of cups interesting but i feel like you're overcoming this you've learned a lesson and you can tell that you know what game they play now mm-hmm so this is what's coming back into your life give me more on this happy happy okay happy happy we have the wheel of fortune that wants to come out you are being a little too cold you already are thinking a lot more logically and this is what's getting you into i feel like you're you're really changing here you're thinking more logically instead of with your heart you're protecting your energy here you could have learned from a past energy and you're moving forward with the chariot it could be a cancer or an aquarius uh libra gemini but um yeah you're moving forward and i feel like this masculine or feminine is trying to come back in and take some of your energy but they feel intimidated they have a lot of inner conflict they have not grown much they have been reflecting on the past but i feel like i feel like this person has their eye on you but there's still some kind of a third party for some of them i do feel that they want to um reconnect if you don't know of a third party then don't make it your story for others of you because i'm now that i'm saying they're turning their back on whatever third party energy they had there give me more of the three of cups and the king of wands so if you don't know of a third party then no see they are ready to leave the the third party or the celebration the third influence back uh, behind and really focus on a new stable beginning here so for some of you there could have been a third party now this person is ready for a new beginning they're very attractive a lot of physical energy between you two i mean a uh, chemistry passion between you two bottom of the deck ace of swords what the problem here is that you want clarity you don't want you you want to cut off all the immaturity all the you're ready to kind of level up because you're changing here you're looking out for your own happiness you could be a water sign here you're very mature emotionally immature i mean emotionally mature here you want clarity you want you're done with the whole game playing in and out energy i feel like you've learned from this lesson this person will be coming in and you're probably going to get stuck in your um thoughts as well but you have to remember the lesson that you've learned with them okay okay so i feel like this person is not done with you you could be probably done trying to move forward overcoming this obstacle this lesson you've learned with them but they're still gonna come towards you okay so use discernment because i'm getting two different energies here then one is not ready and another is so use your intuition i see a lot of fire here earth cancer leo virgo um, gemini air signs water signs fire virgo scorpio taurus gem i mean taurus libra and scorpio taurus leo and aquarius okay so some of these are manipulating you so be careful some of these people okay in this pile <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so we have the hermit here. So the hermit charm brings a message of learning, having the wisdom, learning from the past, and really searching for more here. Hermit is the loner. Okay. So, or it could be a Virgo as well. So let's see what is coming into your love life. We have intention, playing it safe. Okay, so some of you are, t are taking time out for yourself. You don't want to go out there and explore. You don't want to even... You're playing it safe here. Uh, you could be healing and you're just not ready. You're not ready for another struggle in love. You're not ready for um, anything, really. Maybe you're just in quarantine, but it's just playing it safe. So you're trying to just keep to yourself. You're probably building something here. You're creating something. You're building your own empire, your own security. But you're building something. You're building yourself up again. To You're keeping your feelings to yourself. You're keeping your space. Yeah. I feel like you're also... Um, pretending that you have it all together while you s you keep on um, building here um, for your future what is really popping out of here is the mask that she has so maybe you're faking it till you make it that's what's coming to me mm -hmm. hmm. okay spiritual maturity okay so you've learned from the past you're leveling up here You've gone through a lot of struggles. And you're leveling up. That's why we have the hermit here. So you've learned a lot. And I feel like your partner has learned a lot too. The, the person you're thinking about. Or you're you're leveling up and you're ready for that other person. The, the mature person. This message brings a message of spiritual growth. Mm-hmm. And honoring your spiritual growth. Honoring yourself, what you've learned. Also, with the other person here is really being able to accept the other person as they are. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. Two of Hearts. Which is the two of cups here. Hmm. Huh. Wow. So this also is a temperance card. It is, um, you know, mending things. Mending things. Maybe coming into an agreement with someone. With a spiritual maturity. Maybe both learning from each other. Um, agreeing to disagreeing. Or trying to get onto the same page. Mm-hmm. And growing together from it, a reconciliation for some, for most of you, from others, for others of you, I could, you could be meeting someone at a gathering or something because this really speaks of a gathering to me, like a social gathering. It's a cake. It's like two courses here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so past love. So it could be a past love returning here. Either from this lifetime or last the last left lifetime. So somebody from the past is returning to your love life. I feel like both of you have been growing. Someone here thought the grass was greener on the other side. And it really wasn't. I do sense a union between you two. Or meeting. No. No, I can't be meeting someone new. For most of you, it's past love. Because you're keeping it safe. You're not even coming out of your house. What's coming into their love life here? The hermit pile of spirit guides. Freeing yourself. Look at how similar these are. I feel like you're, you're keeping to yourself here. You're taking control of your own life right now, I feel. Or you're trying to. You, you're trying to free yourself. 
see give your your relationship a chance so somebody here wants a second chance or a third one fourth one i don't know <laughs> you just don't know right now <laughs> anymore worth waiting for so both of you have been healing i feel like someone both of you have been stuck blocked mm -hmm. bottom of the deck flirt i feel like this person really wants you in a light-hearted energy wants you to understand them doesn't want any resentment they want you to free yourself from that resentment that anger towards them or whatever um energy you are feeling for them mm -hmm. let's see give me more on this plane it's safe that's for some of you not all of you yeah you've been healing there was a lot of hurt here a lot of thoughts a lot of could be depression too there wasn't a lot of clarity you're overcoming that obstacle in your life but you're focused on yourself give me more on this building blocks no. building blocks with the justice card i feel like you are wanting to give yourself justice like you are wanting to do the right thing mm -hmm. oh somebody wants to come and apologize somebody wants to rush rush in before you forget about them maybe you're focused on other things you're trying to release this person and they're feeling it yeah i really feel like there's somebody wants to make it right with you and build from build together give me more on spiritual maturity they've probably been keeping a close eye on you and been seeing that you have been recovering the hierophant leveling up a higher level of commitment with the leveling up maturity spiritual maturity you both have learned a lot of lessons and really yeah judgment see the past is coming back and they want something serious now somebody has learned has had an awakening give me more on the two of cups two of hearts or temperance i mean it is the two of cups as well the empress and the four of cups so this person wants to come back around because they know that they've made you feel rejected or maybe they were just too focused on other things from the past or this is probably you but this person i feel like they've they made you feel rejected give me more on this four of cups they want to come around and you don't expect this to come yep they want to come back around six of cups with the four of cups yeah they want to come back around they've been thinking a lot about you about the past you, you probably don't even sense this because you have been building yourself up probably focused on yourself on your own abundance your own security they are thinking about how nurturing you are how um, you were always there you could be a taurus or a libra give Give me more on this past love this could also be venus making the playing their magic on their venus magic because it went direct so something could be coming in give me more on past love something here is changing something unexpected is changing between you two they are leveling up maturing more stable more secure they've changed mm -hmm. it's a king of pentacles so they're wanting to offer something very serious very stable the emperor yep compassionate loving this could be a really very a twin flame or soulmate we have the divine counterparts here the emperor and the empress they do want to offer you something stable they probably sense you freeing yourself give me more on this freeing yourself card yep you've probably been stuck here and you're trying to free yourself seeing things differently trying to gain some enlightenment but you are um 
trying to keep yourself optimistic something is coming in for you while you're stuck here something's coming in for you and it's this person that wants something serious with you give me more on give your relationship a sec a chance i was gonna say second chance <laughs> yep ace of pentacles a new stable beginning and this is them with this pentacle they want to offer you this they've changed and i do believe they've changed this is not somebody that is um just telling you something they've actually thought about it they've gone through a transformation and awakening because we have a judgment card here give me more on worth waiting for and of course it was worth wait the wait because both of you have been healing or trying to heal or have been blocked the will of fortune things will be turning around for the good for the better with the three of pentacles working things out together making a plan and really working it out both of you could be um, seeking a counselor as well or just trying to plan things out getting on the same page you have all your rules and regulations <laughs> i don't know why that came to mind she's holding some paper like you are ready to start building here and it's funny because we have the building blocks here start rebuilding from this and this connection bottom of the deck the problem here is someone that was whoa this really got to the to both of you look at that healing from this ending this breakup stress sleepless nights so this is what's really stopping here um stopping you guys here both of you guys are healing and probably thinking about the same things mm -hmm. i see a lot of air there scorpio um i have scorpio taurus here air libra leo pisces earth signs i have scorpio taurus leo and aquarius um aries taurus libra water signs yep i have all signs here scorpio twice yep that is what i have okay so your past is coming back it's coming towards you okay thank you so much and i will be back later with another pick a card take care